Hey guys, welcome back. I want to work with the Nano Machine ZBrush, but before that, I need to make some tiling cloth to be used in ZBrush. So I'm going to choose 3ds Max for that. So let's press T. You can use any program you want. Maybe you can make it in, Z, in ZBrush with Z model, but this time for speed. I'm going to use 3ds Max, so I'm going to go to Geometry and create a simple plan. This time I can work with uh, my grid, so let's make it from this point to something like, like this. Yes, I think this is fine. So let's freeze it, right click, freeze selection. So um, now we can go again to plane and create our simple tiling. Something like this. Let's uh, go to scale and move, W for shortcut and pressing shift copy this one press ok but ok now let's uh, take this one pressing shift go in the middle ok let's go to angle snap toggle press E to rotate 90 degree something like this now let's select our own freeze and press RQ. Let's right clip, convert to Adderall Poly. Let's go to Vertex, select this, and by pressing Alt in the viewport, we can see it from another angle. Press W, and let's make it something like this. Uh, let's make it more by pressing R, we're going to scale. Let's make it bigger. Doesn't matter that it's not that perfect. Let's add different colors so we can see which one is it. Okay. Let's select this vertex. Make it something like this. Okay, now let's add another one. Let's make it smaller. Oop. Now let's select this vertex and make it different. Like this. Select another color. Copy. At the end, I think I will going to use some symmetry so I can be sure that this is uh, in symmetry. So let's select this vertex. Let's put it in here. Same here. Let's take this one and copy, like this. Let's scale it, move it big. Let's select everything and convert to editor poly. Let's press G. Let's go to configure viewport and display select it. Uncheck that so we can see it like this. Okay, now let's let's attach this one, this one with this one and this one because I want my border to be almost perfect. Something like this. 
Now let's select this one. I'm trying to make it as good as possible. So I won't have too many problems in ZBrush. Okay, now we can attach this one. Okay, we can also Let's check it. Let's play with this one a little bit. Make it bigger. Not this one. Just two of these. Okay. Let's add the turbo smooth. So we can see. I have some small problem over here. So let's select this and detach it. Let's select this one and by pressing F3 we can see our wireframe. So let's select this one and move it something like this. Okay, we can play more with this one, not too much. Let's delete our turbo suit and attach the rest back, something like this. By pressing T, we're going to top. Let's select this vertex, select this part, and delete. Now let's go to S symmetry. S S S. -S. Where are you? Yeah, over here. Symmetry. Let's move to Y and nope. Flip and drag it. So we should have our perfect symmetry. We can click, right click, convert to editor poly, select vertex, and let's play a little more. Make them more close. Okay, now that we have this uh, tiling, we are going to send it to zebra. So, export, desktop, obj, Style clone. Uh, preset to be ZBrush and press export. Done. Now let's go to ZBrush and press import our tile cloth. Drag it, press T to enter in edit mode. Let's go to our draw polyframe perspective. We can Add uh, another auto groups, doesn't matter. Okay. Now that we have uh, our object, let's press B and create insert mesh. Press new. Then let's press B again and create nano mesh brush. Okay. Uh, glad that I have this uh, character, American Indian, so I can show my uh, project and the workflow. Uh, let's select this cloth. Okay, no. Let's select our cloth. Let's make it polymesh 3D so we can have in another subtool. Let's reconstruct subdivide. You can work on your own project. So it doesn't matter. Let's see how our poly poly fringe looks like. Let's go to three, delete lower, delete higher, so we have more information. Uh, let's make a better Z mesh. So let's press half and Z mesh. Okay. 
Okay, pretty decent. Let's keep it this way. So now, as you can see, if I choose one square because I have my uh, nano mesh, I can draw it. But let's press right click and select all polygon. Now let's click and drag it like this. Now let's go to nano mesh. Let's press fit and constant. Let's uncheck show placement. Let's go to Z rotation and press zero. Enter. So to look pretty interesting. Now let's go to draw size and make it bigger like this. Okay. It's looking super interesting. It looks like more like a sack. <laughs> now let's play a little bit with this variation. So let's um, let our edit to one and let's make it 16. Of course, I should make more density to my mesh to look much better. So we can go to edit placement and let's try to add one divide and delete lower. Okay, now let's go to nano mesh again and uncheck edit placement. We should have more more of this sec. Okay, now we can play a little more with, as you can see, the nano mesh goes after your uh, Z remesh. So as better you have, you will see that it's much more close that you want to make. Anyway, let's keep it like this and let's go to another variation. Let's see how length will look like. Okay, too much. Let's keep it to 16. Then let's go to high and make it pop out some. I like it because it's not that uh, fixed. Now it's looking way better. Okay. Of course, you can play more with your settings over here. This is just a test for me also, because I really didn't use it that much nano mesh. I find it like uh, some sort of scatter for zebra, which is super awesome. I hope you find this video useful. You can play a lot more with these settings, see which one fits better for your project. Uh, I find it pretty interesting. I will give her more a chance and I'm thinking to make another in-depth video tutorial. Uh, if you like my video, please subscribe, like, I post all kind of video. And you can also go to my Goomro page and see what I'm selling there. Thank you for watching. See you next time.